Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft 2, episode 49. In this episode, we'll be doing... Your hierarch is apparently unaware of the danger closing in around him. If you desire his safe return, you will send your warriors to these coordinates now. Bringer of Oblivion! And we put the into input. And we will see where we go next. This path will lead your forces to Artanis. I have done as I promised, Dark Templar. Now go tell your Hierarch. I am waiting for him. Matriarch, our High Templar have volunteered to aid you. The loss of the Kala was not easily borne. But we are ready to serve once again. Templar, I thank you for your bravery in this dire time. We will recover our Hierarch. As ever, I serve. Olak Natal. Unleash psionic storms, brothers. Let these hybrid thralls feel the wrath of the Templar. Call. Unity through purpose. For Artanis. And Taro Tassadar. I will comply. We continue on. I have heard of these Terran Spectres. Focus their energies into a feedback loop. They will not bear it. As ever, I serve. Olak. Templar, join us, quickly! To me, my swarm! Enough energy. Vorazul, your forces have arrived just in time. Amon has opened a portal to the void. It must be shut down before it tears us apart. Agreed. My swarm and I will bear the brunt of Amon's power and buy you time. But it's up to you to seal that portal. The gateway draws power from these void crystals. We will need to destroy them if we are to seal the gate. Then it shall be done. Minerals. We are focused once more. Orange is We shall endure. Olak And Taro Tassadar. The darkness is approaching my hive cluster, Artanis. I hope you're getting ready to disable those crystals. I'll continue sending as many Zerg as I can spare to help you. Fight well, Templar. Our power shall serve. Hierarch, I am detecting several energy sources hidden across the temple. They appear to be Zel Naga vessels, ancient power sources. If we can locate them, I should be able to use their energy to free up additional solarite from the Spear of Adun's core. We've secured a Zel Naga vessel, Karax. Prepare for transfer. Unbelievable. Despite eons of inactivity, these devices are still at full power. As ever, I serve. And Taro Tassadar. Unity through purpose. The crystal's defenders have fallen. Move in and destroy it. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals.
crystal destroyed. Sensors are showing three more remain, Hierarch. Our spirit is indomitable. For Artanis. You have not enough minerals. I am here on the shadows. Your thoughts are clear. I will comply. I hear the call. Antaro Tassada. You have not enough minerals. I will come. I am here in the shadows. For Artanis. The darkness will be repelled. I heed the call. And Tassadar. For Artanis. As ever, I serve. I. Shadows. You have not enough minerals. Chosen, slay these heretics in Amon's name! I heed the call. is secure. Destroy it as soon as possible. I will comply. My brood is pushing towards a crystal. I am here in the shadows. Two crystals destroyed. I suspect Amon's forces will not let us take the next two so easily. Hybrid are moving to attack our nexus point. Ready our defenses. I serve. Unity through purpose. You have not enough minerals. I am here. And Taro Tassadar. See intriguing. Very well. There are cool. We move unseen. Very well. The crystal is free of defenders. Our warriors can destroy it whenever you are ready. Upgrade complete. 
as ever, Ice. Only one remains, and the portal is growing unstable. We must destroy the final crystal, and do so with haste. Hybrid inbound on our nexus point. Warriors, intercept them! Antaro Tassadar. For Artanis. I heed the call. Olak Natal. Focus on the Void Crystals, Artanis. The enemy bases can wait until we're good and ready. Continue on. The second Zelnaga power source has been secured. I only detect one energy signal left. The darkness will be repelled. I will comply. Wisdom through adversity. You must construct additional pylons. It shall be what you say. Intriguing. We move unseen. Very wise. That is the last of the vessels, Karax. Understood. I am transferring the final power source now. You must construct additional pylons. I am here in the shadows. For Artanis. I will come. been secured. Destroy it, and victory is ours! Let this be a reckoning. From this point forward, we stand united. We shall turn back the tide of Amon's darkness. Well, this day, Kerrigan. Join us. Together, we can defeat Amon and send him back into the void. My swarm was broken here, Artanis. I'll need time to rebuild my forces. There is no time. My people are being consumed. Their very flesh turned into Amon's own. I cannot wait. Then you must do as I have gather allies, subjugate enemies, do whatever you can to ensure victory. Survival is never pretty. We are very different leaders, but I thank you nonetheless. Until we meet again. So much more. Arrogance! Watch your words, or my blade will watch them for you. Oh, that's hardly a way to speak of one who saved your master's life. You care little for my survival, Alarak. 
What is the true reason you've come to me? Our god broke his ancient covenant and cast us low. These are lies, Artanis. I am the liar. Are you not but a lie incarnate machine? Prototh. Speak your peace, Alarak. The Talgarim's death fleet amasses its slain, awaiting the start of a full-scale invasion. I come with an offer. You will aid me in invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, I will grant you a cessation of hostilities between our people. Phoenix, rally my advisors. It appears we have much to discuss. Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. Powerful psionic warriors have joined our ranks, Hierarch. You must choose among them. Kassar de Templari. Hierarch, I believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulmar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The Keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. Then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Karax. We have a war to take to Amon. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calderim speaks truth. I am synthetic. A replication. A lie. What did you find in the Archive? My death. My rebirth as a Dragoon. And then, my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix, yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. Rohana, do you not see why you must sever your nerve cords? I cannot allow you to fall under Amon's sway again. The Kala was created in our darkest moment. Only its light was able to bind our people to give us unity. We are born into it. And when we die, our spirits become one with it. It is worth fighting for. And now Amon uses it against us. It sustains his existence. Its time must end. Artanis, through the Kala, our every thought and emotion are made as one. 
I feel his thoughts and emotions swirling like a vortex throughout. He does not realize it, but here, within the collar, he is vulnerable. How? Just as he can see into me, I can see into him. We can use this to our advantage, Hierarch. I know it. It is not worth it. Please, I only ask for time. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Ulnar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, Amon nearly killed us. I fear Zeratul's prophecy is no longer clear to me. He was closer to the truth than I thought. The Zelnaga did rest here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid, just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch, your words surprise me. Perhaps your counsel has proved influential in some regards. Then I will endeavor to give you more of it. I said some regards, Hierarch. Not all. Hierarch. You must know Amon will destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you, not I. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed! Then this is something I hope to witness. The Void Portal within Ulnar has been sealed. But a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Kapulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergroods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Moby's Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Kerax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. The Selnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar, and yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, 
but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time they will not fail us. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Guys, you're going to either to Slayan or Endion. See you all later.